Hello, this is my latest build. It is a small Lego cottage. You can see it goes all the way back there. It has a uh, two stud roof along with a plated top underneath there. There are a bunch of supports hey, holding up the roof. And in the back, there's a special surprise. There's a giant pool and a little patio area underneath here. And as you can see right now, Mini-Me is relaxing inside the pool. And that's the spa area to simulate the uh, spa jets going at it. I decided to uh, put tiny little Lego cylinder plates inside there. And then over here to simulate the quiet, just regular pool water, I put two uh, six by six glass pieces. Then there are even some small fountains over here. Then lovely landscaping on both sides. And let me take the roof off of the house so I can show you the interior. Let me get that up and rolling. And what takes up most of the space inside the house is the giant kitchen. And I decided not to have a living room since you'd mostly be spending your time out here underneath the patio. There's a small bedroom for two in here, but this is just Mini-Me's bedroom. And over on this side, there's just the kitchen again. And then out here, there's Mini-Me's hot rod. And then a steep driveway heading down to what would probably be a road. And as you can see, the house is elevated. And on this side, you can see the uh, green bricks holding it up and then on this side there's a little more detail with all the different bricks you can see they're adding the look of a hill and then there's the porch which looks like it's actually built out of the hill and underneath here there's some small brick accents and now i would like to show you the uh, top of the roof how i built it and all that stuff let me take you up here. As you can see, it is the full length of the house plus the length of the patio out there. And if I took these up, you would see a bunch of stuffed bricks, as my siblings and me call them. Just random bricks that we just find inside our drawers. And you can see how many different plates were put into building this. Let me flip it over so you can see the other side. There are two large plates here, and then there are some smaller plates connecting the uh, little cabana over here. And that's about it about the house. Let me show you a little more of Mini-Me's hot rod. Here's Mini-Me's little hot rod. It is built with the Lego uh, assembly plate underneath here that you can only find built in cars typically. It is using my favorite type of wheel, the star wheel as I call it, with a little axle plate inside the middle holding it in. And then up behind here, I'm going to show you the rear end of the car. It has the tail lights as you can see and then a rear red bumper. And then right here you can see everything is almost red about this car. There's a steering wheel that the minifig could drive. Then there's a tiny little windshield right here. And then in the front, there is a completely open hood right here. There's no hood here. So the engine is completely open to everyone to see. Here on the front, it sort of looks like an old Dodge or Chevrolet vehicle from the 1930s. And this is going to be Mini-Me's brand new trademark car. And it is hopefully going to appear in almost all the videos along with Mini-Me.